Okay. And we're back. Oh. I'm so excited to continue. Oh. Uh, one of the things I did do was uh, I was able to get my special DLC summon. So now I have that. And, uh... I'm going to buy some steel materia. Yes, yes, indeed. It is exciting. It is exciting to continue. I am excited. All right. So I guess for now we'll just head to this uh, to this point here, the abandoned dock, just to progress a little bit in the story. I'll collect anything along the way, and uh, we'll find fight anything that I come across as well. Oh, something's nearby. Where? What do you this is? Use assets on an enemy to reveal its elemental weakness, as well as effective strategies to use against it. Then exploit those to pressure and ultimately stagger your foe. Be great if I knew where it was. Oh, here it is. These guys are a bit strong. They got pretty hard defenses. Uh, let's get a little assets on it. And see what it is. Weakness to fire. Nice. Can do that. Fire. Pressured. Get ready. Okay, staggered. Perfect. Okay. I need to get fire. I just need double fire. Perfect. Excellent, excellent. Uh, so what? All I had to do, I actually could have done it. Uh, all I had to do was go into system, and then go to DLC bonuses, and it automatically just took it out. So I have Leviathan now equipped. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to do that from, like, that menu or if I had to go all the way back, but no, all I had to do was just do that. Ooh, it's a rare item here. We'll grab that. Look, a small group here. Take them down. That one's done. Let's get, uh, we'll go with a Braver and then Triple Slash. The Braver. There we go. No, oh, they're all dead. Yeah. Look, more items. Where to go? Where to go? More items. There's more items up here, and there's also these ruins. I'm gonna go take a look at them. 
There's probably chests and stuff in here that I can grab. I would assume, anyways. It's a it's a remake of the Midgar theme, yeah. I think I think that's what it is. I mean, it's it's Final Fantasy VII music. Also, how are you doing, Thane? How's it going? I'm a little disappointed. I thought there would have been like a. Uh... Some caches around. I guess not. Yeah, I know, right? Who could have who could have guessed that? I'm so glad it's an explorable world. Yeah, this makes me so happy. Be able to explore the planet. I obtained a sleek saber. Oh, same here. I'm happy it's the weekend. Got out of having to work today, so. It was up in the air if we would have to work today or not, but thankfully it didn't, so I can play this. I have a busy day today, though, with streaming. I'm going to be streaming this now, and then I'm going to be streaming some Raft later on tonight. And, uh collaboration with this another streamer is home to the deadly midgard swarmer beware but even if you're slow you can rent a chocobo Ooh, a chocobo we'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast so just give bill the word and he'll pick you out a bird <laughs> are we gonna get the right chocobos well can we rent some birds oh <gasps> Chocobos! Fine. <laughs> oh my god! Yes! Yes! Get the right Chocobos! I'm like a little freaking kid right now. It sounds like this. I, I, I wish I had my camera set up yet. I'm in the process of working on doing that so I can have a camera going. Just so you can see just the giant smile that's been on my face since I've been playing. Like, since yesterday. Hello. Go. Get a little triple slash. I'm so glad you came over to me, Orc, because that just made things so much easier. Uh, triple slash. I wouldn't call it cheating, then, as in exploring my options. Red 13 can definitely take down enemies with his razor sharp claws and fangs. Press square to swipe at foes or hold down to unleash a whirling slash. Successfully guarding against attacks fills the vengeance gauge 
which can be consumed with triangle to enter vengeance mode, increasing Red 13's attack power and dodge speed. Vengeance mode can be activated any time, but it will last longer according to how full the gauge is. What do, you, what do you want from me, Thane? I'm so lonely without you! I'm in a rush, so... I needed somebody to replace the empty void you left. Team's pretty fun to use in combat, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, how do I change the leader? Because if I like to play more as Red 13. Party, I'm assuming. No, that's not it. Hmm. How do I do it? Oh, combat settings. I'm betting that's what it is. Is it? No, that's... Something else. Oh, right there. There it is. I got it. I figured it out. I know, I'm sorry. Got got lots on my plate. I will, Tane, I promise. Red 13 is fast. Also, that attack is fun to use. You just basically juggle them. Seriously, that attack is so much fun to use. Chocobos! Ooh, items. Well, well. Give 
that ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the ride to Calm. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. Yeah. But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for... Yeah, a little bit he does. That's what makes him awesome. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine-feathered friends by any chance? Absolutely, I am. Ever. Need him to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though, chocobos. I'm sorry, chocobos are superior. They're not the next best thing, they are superior. Get it right. What gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo. Nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. Heck yeah! Hey, give me some chocobos. There's some stuff on sale here. Let me go check it out. What do we got on sale here? A cushion for sale? And a steel materia? I mean, it's on sale. It's, some could say, it's a steel. The characters talk. That's weird. Why would there be an echo? Oh, you know what? I bet I know what it is. No? I don't know. I don't know why there's an echo. Ah, uh, something's wrong with my stuff right now. I really don't know why it's, uh... Yeah, yeah, you had to know that steel pun was coming. It was right there. What am I supposed to do? Just ignore it? One of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage yeah, to right. catch him, then he's yours. Free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico. The hardest headed bird you'll ever meet. By far. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people, but if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. 
Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. I mean, yeah. Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, yep. Not very well, but yeah, I remember him. We do. Where is he? Probably the Sector Six slums. He's a big deal in Wall. Um, why do you ask? I was. Thinking about reaching out. It's his fault mom and dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they get help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh, take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few bill. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. Golden plumes, huh? We got for sale. Oh, you sell, uh, this kind of stuff. I don't think I have any golden plumes. I have one. I have one golden plume. I hope Pico doesn't give you all too much trouble. Eh, hey, it'd be fine. It'd be fine, it'd be fine. Where'd you run off to? You mean Pico? There's items inside that I just see now. Tain Manifest and a Tain Timeless Rod. I have the Sleek Saber. And I got Timeless Rod. Who's got, um, I'll put the stealing materia on her. I don't think I have much more in the way of materia at the moment. I just have two steals. So I'll have two steals on, because why not? I'm just going to kick these uh, buckets out of my way. There's a wire thing there. Okay, follow the Chocobo Trail. Sure, I know what the trail looks like. Oh, it's the feathers. This 
way. So you know what's not great? I'm a bit colorblind, so trying to see these feathers is not the easiest. They kind of blend in with the green. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? Yeah. You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. Approach Pico. Approach Pico without no being noticed. If you are in danger of being spotted by him or one of his pack mates, quickly press circle to roll out of sight. You can also distract chocobos by throwing stones you pick up. Use L1 to aim and throw. Oops, went the wrong way. Gotta be slow and steady. Slow and steady. You know, if I knew how to throw the stones, I would. Okay, see, now I got some rocks. So if I throw them that way... <laughs> got him! It's all right, buddy. It's all right, buddy. Yeah, it's a good chocopo. Yeah, there you go. There you go, buddy. Going num nums. Yeah, you happy? You got the num nums. Dog is a chocopo. Follow the giant bird! Hello, Chocobo. This is a weird take on the Chocobo theme. Oh, 
So I know there is a, like in the first one, there was a summon for the fat chocobo. My calm. Oh, this guy! What a pleasant surprise! Indeed. You do remember me, don't you? Yeah, I remember I you. you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. What the hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But, to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. Ah, that's what those are for. I knew they were for something. But were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they sat idle and untouched. Just waiting for someone to put them to good use. That someone being you. around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. If we find him, we'll turn him on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. And this will activate it. The Chad module. That's an interesting name. So this is gonna be like opening up the like the map basically. I'm assuming. Power activation confirmed. Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. Nice. Cool. After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. Whoa. S super original name there. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. They must have thought all night thinking of that one. the information you provide to develop new materia. Quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? With a special pair of goggles, you can do battle in a virtual arena, regardless of your real-world location. That's the combat simulator, or my combat simulator, as Shinra developed the stationary models first. And fret not, it will never be obsolete. 
I'll keep it up to date with intel from unique enemy encounters. I will also endeavor to implement all of the summons. Also, I gotta say, Hojo has this really bad habit of creating things that don't like to listen to him. I have finished implementing a new one. The towering colossus known as Titan. Engage him at your leisure. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? Titan. Which particular task would you like to learn about? My god, there's so many things. Simply put, life springs are formed when the life stream breaches the planet's surface. To Shinra, the volume of Mako that can be extracted from these springs is insignificant, certainly not worth the expense. But to us, they are a veritable font of knowledge. In order to tap these precious reserves, however, you will first need to find them. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. I think I'm good. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With yeah. your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has I think I'm thinking that's what that is. I'm going to go check it out. It is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? Ooh. Allows you to use fire and ice materia. Auto cast. That's actually kind of handy. Morph materia. Allows you to turn enemies into items with morph. Enemies whose health has fallen below a certain amount can be defeated in this fashion. Auto unique ability materia. Allows an ally to automatically use unique abilities when not actively controlled during battle. Tifa will also use unbridled strength when not actively controlled if this materia has been equipped. That's handy. I think I gotta go with that one. I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. Sounds yeah, good. Maybe, maybe, I'm unsure. Crap. <sighs> Shit. Oh, this isn't good. Something's happening with my stream. It keeps dropping frames like crazy. Mmm, Titan. That could be fun. Okay, so we have... That's Fiend Intel. Okay, so that's a, a Fiend up there. Phenomenal Intel. So, I think... Why don't we... Uh, we'll go get the Chocobo first off. Anybody? Hey, right. perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first, here. You just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a running. 
Press R1 to use your chocobo whistle and summon your bird to your side while out exploring. Note that you can only call a chocobo in a, in a region once you have wrangled that region's bird. So, who here's never been on chocobo? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm okay. Uh, so it's, my stream is giving me some issues. It's occasionally dropping frames a bit. I wanted to make sure that it wasn't fully just stopping. Uh, this is just like a uh, Final Fantasy 15 where you're able to just ride your chocobos. Which is awesome. Where are we going, buddy? Here's where we get our birds in shape for the races. Oh yeah. Them races. Old saucers, I mean. They're a big deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico? Yeah, I just, I wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to, uh, like, Sometimes when it does that, it just keeps on doing it, so I have to like reset everything, and I was just hoping that I didn't have to do that, so I was just waiting a few seconds and letting it see if it would even itself out, and it did. Chocobo! Okay, but how's about we stretch his legs a bit? Oh, I ran into the pool. Running into pole is bad. I missed the pole! You serious? I was making good time too. I was making really good time. Not terrible, but hey, now that you got the basics, it's just a matter of practice. We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Then you might want to swing by calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since mom left. They did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True. We got time. But moving on costs money. Hmm. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. What's bad? What's up? Do this. I'm gonna get this. Come on, how did that not count? Like, I either run into it, or I miss it. I... 
the heck? Really? That stone stopped me? What's in here, buddy? Not that easy. Yeah, what now? First place. How about that? How bad am I now? Got nothing left to teach you anymore. <sighs> That's right. All right, I guess I'll go and I'll talk to her over here. He's there. Yep. I've been meaning to go pick flowers, but the planes are way too dangerous for that. I'm sorry to hear that. As a flower lover myself, I sympathize. Well, the thing is, I want to make a flower crown. Mom used to make them for us all the time. So I wanted to give it a try, but with all the... Oh, ha, 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 you're so funny. an idea. Maybe we could do the picking for you? Sure. Cloud? Thoughts? Really? You will? The flowers grow on a hill that's got a great view of Midgar. It's kind of far, but a chocobo will get you there quick. Thank you so much. I mean, it might as well, right? Plenty of things to do. So many things to do. Uh, I should probably heal up a bit. There's stuff here. Let me go grab this stuff here. I wonder if there's a chest around here. If I look at the map, will it just tell me if there's anything? Is there, um... I'll just rest up on the chair. I did something. Matt, you've stumbled upon the life spring. Why don't you try scanning it? See what you uncover. Accessing the planet's okay. database. What am I doing? Should help us learn about the area. Could that be a life stream? <laughs>
Ooh. I did a thing. All right. Cool. Nice. Confirmed. Data received. Life springs such as this can be discovered in every region. Their potential energy output is far too minuscule for Shinra to exploit. But to us, they're fonts of intel. I encourage you to seek out more of these life springs. I mean, I guess I could do that. Cool. Let's go, everybody! Ooh, there's items. Okay, I wanted to go and check this out. So let's go see what this is. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? You know what? That's a uh, that's a picture that's being taken. That's too good. Take a picture of that. All right, let's go. Looks like it's a uh, something down there. All right, so we have to go down to this road over here. Alert! Alert! Danger being detected in your vicinity. Please ensure you are prepared before engaging. Oh, I'm prepared. My sensors are picking up some understandable confusion. It's a pleasure to meet you, Cloud. I am your personal monster assessment instrument. But since that's a mouthful, you can call me Mai. Chadley programmed me to assist you by providing oh, yeah, it analyses is. of the fiends you encounter. For sure it is. I hope I can be of service to you in the many battles ahead. With that out of the way, I'm picking up unusual fiend activity nearby. To procure the biological data that we require, you'll need to complete specific objectives during combat. But don't worry. Because I'll be here to help you succeed. Good luck. The fiends that Chadley wishes to analyze can be found in a variety, various locations throughout the world. Defeating these unique beasts and fulfilling certain battle objectives will unlock new trials in the combat simulator. You cannot flee from these battles. Fiends from this place. Rare Pressure an enemy, stagger an enemy, avoid being poisoned. You 
I didn't get the pressure them now. Okay, so I can retry it. I had to, I had to figure out how to pressure it. Do I have an SS material? Because that would be helpful here to figure out how I can pressure it. I do. Who has it? Wait. Cloud has it. I was like, unable to use that material before. Cloud has it? What the heck? Why was I unable to use the ability? Do I have to play as Cloud? I might have to actually play as Cloud. No. Wait, what? Is it under abilities? It's under abilities! And... Okay, so I gotta use... Uh... I gotta use, um, what do you call it? Blizzard. What the, do I have Blizzard on anybody? I think I do. What's that? Soul Drain. Yeah, I have fire. But I don't think I have... Yeah, I don't. Yeah, uh, I'm planning on it. I have to equip it, though. Because I think that should pressure it. If I hit it with its weakness. I think. I'm not sure. I don't quite know how the pressure works. Okay. So yeah, using the using the the blizzard should get it. Which means I have to go cloud here. Yeah. 
Thank you for telling me. Alright, it's pressured. That was cool. And it's gone. Awesome. Thank you, wifeys, for the help. Appreciate it. Let's go. Up to, up to. an enemy. Get him! Oh, I can summon? <laughs> They're going to wait for that summon because I want to summon something. Yes, Tiffy for the win indeed. Okay, now I can summon. Bring in the law of Iron! Summons fight alongside you for a brief period, and the remaining time is indicated by the gradually decreasing gauge. These beings will have a will of their own and engage the enemy as they see fit. However, you can command them to unleash unique attacks by expending your party members' ATB charges. When the summon gauge is completely defeated, the summon will execute a devastating ultimate attack before it departs. Oh, it needs double. Okay, I get it. Nothing to cool. Stop in. Chocobo. Got some more monsters here.
You get the can! I didn't mean to do that. <sighs> oh my god! It's a baby! Repairing chocobo stuffs. Many chocobo stops built in the days of the Republic have fallen into disrepair. Mending one will add a new fast travel point to your map. The benches at these chocobo stops are also in poor condition, but if you use a cushion, you can sit down for a rest, which will fully replenish your HP and MP. Note that you can only fast travel to chocobo stops once you have wrang wrangled the region's chocobo. Cool. The little baby chocobo is adorable. Also, what is on the chocobo's butt? Am I seeing that? I uh, fixed it. It's all better. Oh, I got a golden plume. Oh, you put the baby. There's a good little baby chocobo. It's adorable. Treasure hunting with chocobo. When a question mark icon appears above your chocobo, buried treasure is nearby and waiting to be sniffed out by your feathered friend. Cool. Hold. Up to sniff the air, use right stick to face to face the scent. Once you face in the direction of the scent, it becomes visible. Follow the scent and press down to excavate the treasure. Oh. up this way. Oh, it's right there. I thought it was up higher. I got a ruby. She was kicking it? I didn't notice she was kicking it. Uh, 
Oh, isn't this one of the... T this is a tower thing, isn't it? I should probably activate it. Let's go grab these items. I like when you're on the chocobo, it picks up the whole group of items. Nothing like picking up things faster. Hey, Cloud, did you notice any sparkling minerals nearby? These are known as guide stones. Crystals that direct travelers to shrines to the divine. The stones oh. emit light when they shatter, producing an illuminated path. If ever you're lost, try smashing one. Following the light should lead you to a sanctuary said to honor the tutelary deity of a given region. The shrines contain untold divine knowledge, slumbering within massive crystals. I can use this knowledge to strengthen your summoning materia, so I encourage you to seek out said sanctuaries. So what am I smashing? Aha! That's fascinating. Whole bunch of lore. Oh, look! Kick! Kick! Chocobo never skips leg day. Sanctuaries contain the crystallized knowledge of summons, which will strengthen your summoning materia. The path to the sanctuary is lined with guide stones. Break one to release a light that will lead you to the sanctuary. No, oh, no, 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 no. I need to, I need to do this, Chocobo. It's true. It's true. I'm counting on you. Examining a summon crystal will re reveal its memory matrix. A series of points will appear in order, and you must memorize their positions and necessary timing. Oh, great! The point will then disappear, and you must make inputs at the correct time to replicate the matrix. If you succeed, you will weaken the summon in its combat trial and strengthen its corresponding materia. I mean, might as well. Got it. First try. Analysis complete. I managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia.
Okay. Here we go. Where to now? Where should I go now? What's this over here? That's the sanctuary. Never mind. I just did that. What's this? This is something. Okay, I guess we should head over there just to get that. I see it. It's like a lighthouse thing. Well, let's go check it out. Also, I don't think this is one of the beacon things. I'll look and see. I don't think it is, though. No, I don't think it is. Alright, let's head over this way. I'm just gonna juggle this guy a little bit, it's fine. Crushed him! I don't think it is. Probably have to go in. I have to get in there somehow. Is that what I gotta do? Door is locked. Because of course it is. I see I have to get in there. I can see I can climb up the thing there. So how do I get in there? Oh, right here. Oh, it's these guys. Are you serious? Wait, 
<laughs> oh my god, they're idiots. That hurt. Uh, let's get a high potion in for uh, red. Ooh, limit. Nice. Get him. Whoopee. Where is that at? That's what over there. Okay. What's this? Does this do anything? No. Now's our chance. Let's catch up with Zack. Door is locked. Is there a way to get inside from from here? No, it doesn't look like it. All right, let's go. I guess we'll head... I guess we'll head back this way because there is uh, a tower there. This is probably, I think is the tower that I had gone past and was curious as to whether that was the a tower or not. So it looks like it, it is or it isn't, I don't know find out in a second. Ooh, hang on, hold up. Maybe? No, that's not a tower. I didn't think it was, but there is a tower over this way. Also, I think you might, I think uh, the thing's a little behind for you, Rob. Yeah, see, there's a tower. Get him! Oh, I freaking grabbed me.
Are you sure? It seems like it's running fine. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. Got some more stuff. Oh, party level two. All right. So it looks like we should go. We can go back to the town, the main town. So I guess we'll head in that direction. I can't stay up. Oh, stay up. That was that thing there. What was the mission I had to do where I had to go on top of a hill? To get some flowers? Moogle intel. That's through the swamplands. But where is this other thing? Head to the Wildflower Plateau. Oh, it's up there. Okay, so I have to go past the town. So if we're gonna head back, to, if we're gonna head that way to do that, we might as well go into town. Now we should be able to stagger it right there. There we go. I will say one of the things that they definitely changed is uh, how the summons work. Like for the first one, when they would get the summons, it would only be occasionally. But now it seems like any battle you can get the summon in. Pressured. Staggered it, and there we go. Not bad. Not to bad. Wonder when we get Yuffie. Wait, there's enemies? Where? There are enemies somewhere around here. Where were they? There's a house over there. Oh, right here. Here are the enemies. Let's do it! Freaking wolf is a pain. Dodged it. Staggered. You get some like good items out of that, looks like. Some like crafting items. Speaking of which, I haven't done that at all.
Ooh, Phoenix Trap. Revives and restores a small amount of HP. I mean, I might as well make one. What is, uh... Potion. And then I got Mist Potion. Ooh, I can make a Hive Crafting Potion when I hit level 4. Or level 5. Oh, cool. You can make Gold Coral Amulet. Whoa. That looks pretty handy. Wrist guards. 